Hi, it's Elaine from Penguin Place Crafts, and the weather out there is very penguiny today. It it started. Let's see. I got up around six. It was forty degrees. No snow on the ground. But then the temperature started to fall, and the snow started to fall, and it was snowing pretty lightly all day long. Now it's really snowing out there. <laughs> It's really coming down. There's probably about six inches on the ground. But the thing is, the wind is so strong that it's just blowing the snow around. So we're staying home. It, there's, there's a white out conditions out there. Lake effect snow plus wind. Stay home. So I've been crocheting all day. Now, I did do a few other things. I made lunch. I made dinner. Um, I caught up with my puzzle quota. I went out and got the mail. I went out and got my Amazon order off the front stoop. Okay, and I had two things that I finished last night. So, Mystery Yarn Challenge 123. Um, hosted by Lori over at Armchair Chef. Let's see. Yes. First came the owl. Then came the Ankylosaurus, then came the monkey, and now Buddy Bear. This pattern is Buddy Bear 2.0 by Cassandra over at Craftably Ever After. I love this pattern. It works up quickly and it's just so adorable. And you know, you can, you can take the scarf off him. You could put, you know, you put it on different ways, but it's just an adorable little bear that works up quickly. So, buddy bear. Okay. And I also told you, oh, wow. I just got an Etsy order. I just saw a cha-ching. And now I have to wait till the video's done to find out what I sold. Because I don't want to, like scrolled my phone you know mess with my phone to try to find out um my new book that i got 20 tiny toys to crochet i made this chameleon from the pattern now he has a girlfriend a twin brother i don't know which one of, i don't know what they are you know fraternal twins but i did i told you i was going to try something different for the legs so that they would all face in the same direction on this side the legs have a single crochet three for the bend and on this side i skipped two stitches so i think i got the legs pretty much pointed forward on both sides so i need to update my chameleon listing Okay, I saw a pattern. I don't know if I saw it on YouTube or Facebook or whatever. And you know how sometimes you see a pattern and you're just like, just, okay, all the other works in progress are just, you know, step aside. I got to make this. In case you went to Target hoping to get one of their limited edition Stanley insulated cups and you were not successful don't worry you can crochet yourself one <laughs> Ta -da! I, I made this up this afternoon so i did reinforce the bottom and the top with um, plastic to help them hold their shape Sorry, I'll try not to yawn so much. It is 8.30 at night. Um, I wanted to get this finished so I could have fun with this. This pattern is from WoollyRhinoCrafts.art. And it is one of the most cleverly written. Just the little, like, this is mostly a joke pattern. Or, like, she said, important. This cup will not keep your drinks hot 
nor cold. In fact, I strongly suggest that you do not put any liquids in this tumbler. The straw doesn't work. The lid doesn't even come off. I mean, you could make the lid so it does come off if you want to, but still, don't put any liquids in this, please. And as you're making the pieces, um, like for this little strip that you sew onto the top, she just doesn't say like little strip that you sew onto the top. She calls it the advanced moist moist lock lid device. Yes, that's the, we're using official terminology here. Uh, the straw, yeah, straw. That's all the terminology that gets. But I'm I'm definitely going to try to get this on Etsy as soon as possible. And I just this was fun. Okay. I did do one thing different. She just had you make this like 33 row tube where you chain and then you work around both sides. So you've got 10, a 10 stitch round and you're supposed to do it for 33 stitches. And she says, if you want to get more of the square shape for your handle, that you can sew, you know, use your yarn color, your body color, cup color to sew. I did it differently. After I did about six rows, I crocheted it together. And then I went in the front, like five stitches across the front loops, five stitches across the back loops, and did it in a tube again until I got to like 27 total rows. And then I did the same thing, sealed it off, opened it back up again with front loop, back loop, and did another six rows to finish it off. So that gives it that nice squarish look that defines this cup. Limited edition. Okay. While I was sitting in my chair this afternoon working on that. Oh no. Back, back, back. Gotta get the story right here. I'm working on a brother for this guy. If you've seen the um, color palettes that I've mentioned a few times before, down in the far bottom corner, there's one that's called Bollywood. And I'm making a Bollywood owl. So it is going to be bright colors. It was so many different colors on it. I got to the point, I've got the body done. I've got the head done to about here and I need to put the eyes on, but this was the biggest eye I had in just plain black. I did have some that have the color ring around them. That's like, there's so many, already so many colors involved in that owl that I'm working on. I didn't want to try to figure out what color was going to go with the whole owl. So I get a notification on my phone that my Amazon order is out for delivery. So the, the owl goes to the pile and I switch over to work on the cup because in the Amazon order, is a pack of, I think, 130 size 18, 18 millimeter safety eyes. So all set to finish up that owl now. Now this Amazon order is the rest of what came with my new, <laughs> my new favorite shirt. Did I get it all in there? Peek. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I had placed the order for this shirt in the safety eyes and Amazon said, yep, you need to order $4 and something, something more cents to get free shipping. So I found this Ferris wheel cotton candy. But it's got those blues and purples and oh, and it's so soft. I don't usually make wearables for myself, but I'm thinking I gotta make myself something with this. So I added that to my cart 
And once you know it says, you need to add seven more cents to get free shipping. Really? So I searched for clearance yarn and I found another yarn cake. It was only $2.99. I'm like, wow, that sounds like a great sale. And when I got the package today, there's my $2.99. I'm thinking I'm getting a, a cake like this for half price. No, I got this teeny tiny little cake. <laughs> okay, well, this was just like the the frosting on the cake. Um, I was using my um, Amazon card that I got as a prize from Amagurumi Wars from Judy at Witch Peace Crafts. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to make with this, but it's just, it's just going to make me crack up whenever I think of it. Like, yep. When you are ordering things online, you need to check the fine print. It's, I suppose it's you know, $2.99. If I saw this in the store for $2.99, I wouldn't get it. And I did save like $8 in shipping by getting this. But I think if I had, if I had known that that was the size of that, I would have gotten two of these. And, you know, I would have paid a little bit more on the order, but I would rather have two of these than this, but live and learn. I don't have my microphone on. Oh dear. I'm going to play this back and see how it goes. And if it is too hard to hear, then I'm going to try again. Okay. I checked the sound and it's probably a little quieter than usual, but I'm not going to re-record the whole video because if I were to re-record the whole video, that would cut into my craft time. So I'm going to take my safety eyes out to my chair and I'm going to finish up the owl and stay warm by the wood stove. So bye bye. Sorry about that glitch. That's what happens when I record videos close to bedtime. Yep. Bye-bye.